Multiple allegations of a difficult work environment have been leveled by former employees and others against the Community Action Partnership of Greater St. Joseph and its executive director. An attorney representing two former employees issued a statement to News Press Now. Her clients have accused Whitney Lanning of discrimination and the lawyer cited three other cases that had similar conditions in nature. However, these charges were not prosecuted to completion. Among them are Sherry Webb. She was contacted by a former CAP employee within the HR department that said she was indeed wrongfully terminated. And that's how I found out. I knew I was wrongfully terminated anyways, um, but she told me that they knew two months before that they wanted to get rid of me and she was really sorry. Webb received a right to sue letter from the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, but ultimately decided to not pursue the case. CAP's board of directors said they cannot comment on matters concerning past and current employees. And staying with CAP now, News Press Now was made aware of a section of CAP's bylaws that employees can't hold public office. So if elected, Lanning plans to keep her executive director position with CAP, despite the bylaws saying she cannot. The agency also has a policy that says employees may be nonpartisan candidates for public office, which the mayoral race would be. Lanning used this policy to get approval from the board before announcing her candidacy. The reason the bylaw and policy contradict one another is because the bylaws weren't updated after the political affiliation policy was adopted in 2009. The CAP board plans on updating the bylaws to reflect the policy, but if elected, Lanning can be both mayor and executive director of CAP.